on the Palestinians. It is an attack on our humanity. Australia, Australia, make a stand. Make a stand against this aggression. Urge the Australian government to condemn this terrorism that we are witnessing. To condemn, to condemn the killing, to condemn the killing of families, children, and women. We condemn the killings of. We are Australia condemning the killing of the whales in the ocean. If you are against killing the whales in the ocean, why you keep Thailand killing the people in Gaza? Why? Accept the killing in the name of Gaza people. I would like to thank you, Gaza, rising its hand with the blood and say to you and say to you, thank you, brothers, for being with me. Thank you. Before we march, we're gonna have one more speaker here. We're going to have one more speaker here before we march. I'd like to introduce Monique Wiseman, who's an indigenous woman who's been an activist in this country for the struggle of this land for many years. Monique Wiseman. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land, the Gadigal people of the Kiara Nation. To hear Julia Gillard, our Deputy PM, in the media, effectively supporting Israel's assault on Gaza while condemning Hamas. The racist message from our government is clear. Israeli blood is more worth more than Palestinian blood. Australia supports Israel in the Middle East because it is it has colonial interests there. Australia's troops occupy Afghanistan, attacking defenseless villages and troops participate in the ongoing occupation of Iraq. The colonial mindset and the harsh racism that are competed is still dominant here in our country. A country founded by genocide of indigenous people. The massacres, the dehumanisation, the dispossession, but also the refusal to surrender, the resistance, the struggle to retain land and assert humanity. This is the history shared by the people of Palestine and the Aboriginal people of Australia. But it is also shared present. Aboriginal people do not have bums raining. That's right. Raining on their heads. But they are up to 12 times as likely to be in prison than other Australians and to still die in custody on unacceptable levels. The racism that blinds the world powers to Israel's slaughter blinds our system. No policeman has ever been found guilty in Australian court for killing an Aboriginal person. Not one. And today, as the Rudd government supports Israel's ongoing attempts to clear Palestinians from their lands, they are continuing with our intervention into Aboriginal communities in the Northern Territory, which has sent the Australian troops to seize control of Aboriginal land to push people away. They are push people away from their lands as we speak. As the government supports the construction of apartheid law through Palestinian territories, they have set up a pilot legislation here in Australia, suspending the Racial Discrimination Act, quarantining the income of people living in Aboriginal communities in the Northern Territory, forcing people to line up in separate queues like the while the on ration days, like while the rest of Australians get cash. To justify the slaughter in Gaza, they say all Aboriginal people are child abusers, drunks, criminals, to justify ongoing colonial subjectation here in our own country. Aboriginal Australia no longer faces a cheap military terror now being faced in Gaza, but people across this country who fight for justice are filled with in inspiration and passion to fight even harder by the courage of the Palestinian people who's resistant to racism and colonialism. We will fight against the wars in the Middle 
means that our government continues to participate in. We will fight the racism faced by Arab and Muslim people here in this country. We will fight for an end to the intervention and for justice and peace for all. I also ask you to stand with us on the start of Parliament on the 3rd of February to stand up against the racism and the injustices against all of us as people fighting resistance together. Thank you. Just me. 